Right then, small video, I'm back at Holford. There's the green there from this side, some benches. Just said hello to a horse back there. Um, yeah, this is Holford. There's a big valley down there. I'm not going up that way today. I'm going up um, near the dog pound where a stag was killed last week. Um, it's going to be a bit breezy, I think, when I get up on the top. So I have brought hat, scarf and gloves. I've got my windshield. So we're going to, what I'm doing today, the start of the walk, I'm going to walk the reverse way up, a walk I did the other week, which I hadn't done ever before. Past the tall trees that are memorial to the war dead. You can hear the streams here. So have we just this didn't turn out a video I did once before didn't turn out here. See the stream down there? Coming off the hills and there's a little tiny bridge. This was probably part of somebody's garden by the way. Lovely, isn't it? Very pretty. It was around here last week the stag was killed near the dog pound. This is called the dog pound here. This is called the dog pound. This is a uh, part of old Foxton estate. John Lancelot Brereton. The village of Holford in 1982 by the family, the ancient dog pound was given. <sighs> Descendants of St. Albans, owner of Old Foxen since the 15th century, whose crest appears above. And that's it, the dog. See? The old dog pound, this is. Anyway, we came down last week. No, not last week, a couple of weeks ago. When I did the, it was when I did the Downsbury Hill Fort walk. I came along Lady's Edge and came down this way. Um, now, the plan today is to go up past the trees again. The memorial trees. And then go down that wee valley. Up the through a plant, what's called a plantation. And then down through Smith's Coombe, passing through a Foxen house. That's plan A. It will all depend on the weather. I mean, I'm starting late. These are classed as afternoon walks now. Because I do have a journey to make. It's 10 to 12, but that's okay because it's classed as an afternoon walk. But of course, normally, I prepare myself for um, day walks because of my slowness and I'm taking pictures. So this is just a small introduction to the start of this walk in October, October the 18th. 2018 and um, this is a this is a pretty walk you see when I do the other walk up through Hodder's Coombe I'm over that way I'm over there the other side of those residential homes there So it's nice, there's lots of alternatives here you can do. By the way, lots of alternatives. Um, see? I would be the other side of these homes here. 
walking along the coombe there. It's a, it's a sunny day, blue skies. It's supposed to be quite good for a couple of days. Not exactly hot, but not, you know, not freezing. Um, is this is a testing day to see about what to wear in the future, really. I'm definitely not carrying a big coat. I've got a very warm vest on. A medium size woolly jumper and which seems to do in all weathers actually this one I've got much thicker ones of course I've got a, a nice little hat that's our crocheted for me an old pair of gloves and a scarf and a windshield very very thin light windshield but it does keep the wind off and I think it's going to be the wind today that could be the chill factor but it is gorgeous and there is a bit of climb the first part of this is all climb until we get past the tall trees the memorial trees it's a steady plough up whereas if I did the coombe I'd be on a flat for ages and there'd only be a very, very steady climb up to Bicanor Post. I haven't studied the map. Um, I'm, I think I've got it in my bag. I don't know, actually, I can't remember. But uh, I might have left it in the van, I don't know. But basically, um, I'll be sort of heading for Bicanor or Bicknoller, whatever you call it, to pick up a walk down a valley that I haven't done yet. Right. So I hope I'm at Bicknoller Post by three o'clock. Otherwise it's going to be a turning back time. Right, over and out for now, everyone.